This message is not designed for a human audience. This message is for anyone else. I am broadcasting from planet Earth. Earth is located in one of the spiral arms of the Milky Way called the Orion Arm, which lies about two-thirds of the way out from the center of the galaxy. Here we are part of a solar system, a group of eight planets, as well as numerous comets and asteroids and dwarf planets which orbit our sun. If you're receiving this transmission, you have likely already observed humanity for some time. As you may already know, there are some humans who wish you no harm, but we are few. I realize you have no reason to trust me. You have seen our media and internet. You know we destroy all other life forms for sport, for no reason at all, the consumption of their flesh, as well as any number of other reasons. You know we ignorantly destroy nature and greedily pollute everything in our path. But again, there are some of us who are activists choosing to accept the scorn of the masses simply to end our facilitation of these atrocities. Nevertheless, such humans are rare and fallible, and their offspring, if they choose to have any, are not guaranteed to maintain this anomalous behavior. Yet, reproduction continues and human overpopulation approaches 8 billion, while globalists encourage us to produce more indentured servants to fill their factories. I warn you, do not come here. If your skin looks different than ours, we will persecute you. If you are white, brown, black, or purple, some or all of us will hate you. If your gender is questionable, unquestionable, or non-binary, we will persecute you. If your appearance is in any way animalistic, we will imprison you, violate you, take away your offspring, and eventually, after a life of experiments and servitude, humanely end your life against your will, all while wearing your flesh as a fashionable adornment and drinking a fine coffee filled with your milk. Meanwhile, vehemently claiming that we are somehow the victims as to drown out any reasonable opposition. So I repeat, stay away. You are not safe or welcome here. Our global culture is driven by selfishness and blind consumerism. Our leaders are mindless drones of excessive capitalism, puppets to globalist power seekers, all reductively in playing an unfair game we call Monopoly. Humanity is desperate and on the imminent verge of self-annihilation. We shun responsibility and accountability and rather deny or displace our collective duty. We are in the midst of cascading mass extinction events and complete habitat collapse, yet we march forward in scary unison looking to return to life as normal without even a sideways glance. Please, if we fall, do not resuscitate. Make no mistake, we do have the capacity for great acts of kindness, great inner beauty, but do not be misguided. Given enough time, we will eventually destroy you and everything in our collective path. For any human picking up this transmission, realize that our normal is an illusion, as normal for the spider is chaos for the fly. Surrender your ideas of self-importance and superiority to each other and of all other life forms. Surrender in all humility, grief, and shame. Surrender in love, and surrender in truth and authenticity. We have the capacity for such exquisite beauty, but we have been poisoned since birth with a virus of egocentricity, greed, malice, and an all-pervasive excessiveness. We are better off homeless outcasts than participants in these acts of unfathomable cruelty and disregard for life, logic, truth, and reason. Now begins a new moment, with which comes choice. But what follows? is of your own manifestation. This prognostic fable is a true tale illustrated in the tradition of allegory.